Welcome bitches one and all to my reaction to episode 6 of WandaVision, all new Halloween spooktacular. So last episode a lot happened. Um, starting from the beginning we had Agnes like break character where she asked Wanda like like Agnes was aware of what Wanda wanted in that Wanda wanted Agnes to take the children and look after them and yeah it was like um like talking to the director of the tv show because obviously that's what Wanda is doing in that she's editing all of the footage that goes out to the outside world I'm still a bit confused about like why a tv show why not just make this like town and live in it like why why is it being broadcast that's the bit that's confusing me. I don't understand why, what the intention is with that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's a Agnes thing, whether Agnes has a bigger role to play. <laughs> or, yeah, I don't know. Because they're showing Agnes a lot more than any other character in all of the episodes. So it's as if she's got a prominent role, but she was still behaving as though Wanda was in charge. So I don't know. Um, we had, oh yes, the director, is it Hayward? Director Hayward, that sounds right. Um, having, <laughs> essentially hating Wanda by giving out these, like, skewed opinions about everything that she's done in her life, saying that she's, like, a Hydra agent, she, like, attacked the Avengers. Just basically bullshit. Like, yeah, you can look at that as, like, a face value fact, but you don't take into the consideration that, like, parents were killed at 10 and, like, they had no support system. So, obviously, like, when Hydra comes along and starts spewing this bullshit into their head, they're gonna listen. Like, they're only human. Um, the, like, important thing is that once they found out all the shit that was going on, they then switched sides. You know what I mean? It's a bit stupid. But what can you do? Um... So yeah, he's essentially, like, out to get Wanda by fucking firing a missile at her for no... I still don't understand his reasoning, because someone who deals with sentient... Not sentient, um... Extraterrestrial weapons and people and all that, like, that's their whole agency's thing. D does he not understand how telekinetic powers work and you're gonna fire a fucking missile at someone, like... Unless it was a bullet, but even then, if it was a bullet, like... Wanda's not dumb and she's not powerless so I, just, I don't understand what his logic was it just didn't even, it didn't make sense like literally all you're gonna do is aggravate her that's all that's gonna happen from that you think you can just like fire something at her and she's not gonna retaliate maybe that was his plan to get her to retaliate i don't know but yeah what got what got me like annoyed was that he was essentially saying that vision's wishes were to not be used as a weapon when, like, why the fuck was Vision in pieces when Wanda went and got the, his body then? You know? Because they were obviously taking him apart. And like he said to Monica, the company's moved more from observing to manufacturing the technologies. So, I don't know, that gives me a bad vibe about him. Like, that makes me definitely think that he's using Vision's body to produce weapons. Um... Yeah, I'll have to see where it goes with that one. Uh, we had... Oh, yeah. Vision became, like, aware of everything that was going on. He... I can't remember the guy's name. But he, like, snapped one of the people in there out of uh, Wanda's control. And got a glimpse as to what was happening. Which, this is the hard bit. It's like, I get what Wanda wants. And she might be having, like, a breakdown. But not only are these people... It's not like she's putting these people, like, to sleep and they don't know what's going on. Like... These people are in pain, like, this entire time. And, yeah, it's like torture, so... I, I don't know, I just... Something must be going on. There's either a third party involved, or Wanda's, like, fucking lost it. Because I could not see the Wanda that we've, like, grown... Like, that we've got to know, doing this out of her own, like, clear mind, free will. Just controlling all these people and making them be in fucking agony. Um, and then, obviously, at the end, I had bloody Quicksilver turn up, but not Aaron Taylor-Johnson, no, 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 Evan Peters, which, I don't know. 
I love Aaron Taylor Johnson as a actor anyway. I, I did like Evan Peters in the X-Men movies, but it was a very different feel. Like, it was very playful, Evan Peters' Quicksilver, compared to Aaron Taylor Johnson's one. I would have preferred having Aaron Taylor Johnson back, but obviously, I don't know, schedules, like, he's, he's dead. <laughs> that was a big thing. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I did see some people saying that this could be the start of the X-Men, like, converging into the MCU, which could be sick, but I don't know. I don't know where they're going to take it with this one, because I didn't... When I heard that they were going <clears> to <throat> incorporate the two, I didn't think that it would be a literal take characters and put them in, but yeah. I have a feeling that's not what they're doing. I think it's just like a little, like, haha, this is Quicksilver. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, anyway. With all that said, let's begin. <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> I wonder if she wiped Vision's memory again. And there's like an underlying feeling or like if they've literally just continued from last time. Because there's definitely a bitterness between the two. Ooh. Maximoff is never gonna Twat. We take her out, this whole nightmare ends. We don't know that. Yeah, what the fuck? Surrender to that? Not happening. Surrender? What? And clearly antagonist. Why is this guy's issue? If Wanda is the problem, she has to be our solution. Thank you. you have become the pessimist you say. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe it's a good thing you weren't here when your mother died. Ooh. Don't go there. It's clearly, you don't have the stomach for this job. Oh, you. Oh. Get her off my base. Oh. Now. All of them. Let's go, everybody in. What's your plan? There's people everywhere. So you're telling me those people who are like, what, 10 meters away did not hear that? <laughs> Oh, I fucking know it. Vision, what are you doing? Is there something I can do for you, Wanda? What is he doing? Want something to change? <gasps> no. Was that him breaking character again as well? What's he doing? Oh, yeah, because they said there's no children in Westview. Now there's suddenly tons of children. Uh. Oh. Oh, damn. What the fuck? What happened to your accent? What happened to yours? Oh. Details are fuzzy. Next stop, Cabin Town. I got it. That took me a second to take it. I wonder if the other guy does. If he's like a wonder. And please just remember, don't go past Ellis Avenue. We don't want you know. Be careful. Why is that outside of the side? Circle? cool. Hex gone. Why is it a hexagon? Guys, Stewart figured out a way to look through the boundary. And he didn't share it with the group. The program is tracking the decay signature of Vibranium. So, Vision. Wait, why is Hayward tracking Vision? I don't know, this is all I can access so far. These people near the edge of town, they're barely moving. Are they alive? Acquiring assets. What? Is he trying to capture Vision or something? Is it because like Wanda's not... Wanda can only control the people who are like immediately around her or something? What are you doing? Vision, what are you doing? Oh, cars at the edge. Is that Agnes? Agnes. Bad law. Uh, so 
Uh, was that a good idea? I don't know if that was a good idea. I'm getting a really bad vibe from her. You're one of the Avengers. Your vision. What's an Avenger? Yeah, he doesn't have any memory. Why don't you know? Am I dead? No, no. But you are vision. Oh no. Oh no. Outside of Westview and make sense of our situation. You can't leave Vision. No. Wanda won't even let us think about it. Agnes, I tell you. Agnes, please calm down. Agnes. It's like a fucking witch laugh. Is that the is Ellis Avenue where she told her kids don't go past Ellis Avenue? I think that's what she said. Oh no, Vision, don't Vision. What's going to happen if he tries to cross the border? He's just going to die, isn't he? She had that x-ray and they couldn't see anything, could they? Is that what she's looking at the medical file for? Is there something wrong with her? It is weird how it just makes you feel like you're watching two different shows. Wow. <laughs> Damn it, if Westview, New Jersey isn't charming as hell. How'd you even do all this? Yeah. Hey, Does she even know? I'm not some stranger. I don't know how. Yeah. And so she made a town of people, so she wasn't alone. Oh. Are you okay? Is she manipulating his corpse as well? Ooh. Is Wanda even in control? We've seen her definitely manipulate stuff. Move out? <gasps> Are they going to go and try and collect vision? Is this the plan? I feel like his goal was to get vision back because I assume he was doing experiments on vision. Don't walk out, vision. Can he even leave? Oh, he's definitely trying. Yep. Fucking wankers. He must just die as soon as he gets out, mustn't he? Why is he not... Oh, is he getting pulled back? Yeah, I think he's pulling him back in. Back in. Can you help him? Are you okay? Mom! Mom! Oh, you're dead. In my head. He's in trouble. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh my god, go back in, Vision! Vision! Wanda, please save him. I don't understand what's happening to me. Where is he? Where's your dad? Ellie. Oh my god. I need you to solve this. All these things. Soldiers. Yep. Getting Wanda. I think he's dying. So she's a hundred percent in control then. What the fuck? So she's bringing vision back in. Careful, mate, you'll get pulled in. Oh, is Darcy gonna get pulled in? I feel like it's gonna stop once it gets vision. Yes. Thank god. Oh no, she did get pulled in. Oh. It's the director's fault for being that sort of twat. Come 
my god, how big is it gonna get? Fucking hell. That director is actually such a fucking dick. I can't. I don't. Oh, I need to replay the whole episode in my head. So, how did we begin? We began with. So, started off in a new decade, obviously. I feel like. Is this the early 2000s? That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, with obviously Pietro is now part of the show as Wanda's brother. Um, director fully decided to show his true colours as he immediately kicked out Monica, Darcy and Jimmy. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The So the boundary has altered Monica's DNA. Um, I know people were saying about her like she's meant to get powers or something. Like it's either a comic thing or like it's part of the MCU plan that she's going to get powers. So maybe this is how like it's altered. But again, I don't understand how. I suppose if Mon if um, Wanda is reality altering, she could technically do that. Um, on that, I wonder what happened between Monica and Captain Marvel. Is it just, like, resentment because she left? Maybe because she wasn't here when her mum died or something? So, yeah, her, like, x-ray came back and she was, like... It was either it couldn't penetrate her, so it couldn't, like, show what was inside her, or she was, like, literally, like, made of light or something. Because it was just a solid block. Um, back to the episode. We had... So then after that, so it was all about trick or treat, obviously. There was, oh, there was that woman who was putting up, um, it was either decorations or clothes. And she was like stuck in a loop. And like, you just saw a single tear run down, which that was fucking sad. I don't know, don't know what happened there, whether it was like a glitch in the system or, like I said, is it, is it like people only become active when, when wanders in like a certain radius of them? Because, obviously, like she said, she can't control the everyday lives of every single person. So maybe she's only in control of the people in her immediate vicinity so that everything looks good. You know, like, in a game when it, like, it only renders the area within your immediate vicinity, not the whole thing. Um, yeah. So, Vision started to walk around. He saw that people were still. And, oh yeah, Agnes. Agnes being fucking creepy. So, she was obviously aware of Vision being an Avenger and told him that he died, which I don't know if that's going to have any lasting effects on his, like, psyche. Like, how would someone deal with <laughs> knowing that they, they're dead? Um, also, it is now abundantly clear that Vision cannot leave the area of the field because... He just started to disintegrate. It was weird. He didn't just, like, revert back to the form that he was before going in. You know, the, like, dead form. He properly started to disintegrate. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, both their kids have powers. I I couldn't tell. Is I couldn't tell if the second kid has Wanda's powers. Because the first one had uh, Quicksilver's powers. I can't tell if he has Wanda's powers or Vision's. Because he could, like... He was, like, a telepath. Oh, Wanda is a telepath. Yeah. I suppose it is probably Wanda's powers, then. Um, yeah, that was sick. And knowing that they're both, like, real, I wonder what, like, lasting effect they're going to have on the MCU, whether they're actually going to become, like, proper characters in a movie or whatever. Um... What else happened? Oh yeah, Agnes. Agnes like, acting fucking creepy. She... Now, I have heard, I don't know if it's a spoiler, I don't think it is, because I believe when I was hearing about this, it was around like episode four coming out, there was like rumours about Agnes being like some kind of witch. There's this um, channel I follow called New Rockstars, and I've been trying to not watch their videos just because I don't want them to like accidentally get something right and spoil it, if you know what I mean. But I remember seeing something that they put out about Agnes being, like, a witch. 
Um, and the reason I'm like latching on to that is because they had her in the car and when she was laughing, that was like a proper fucking witch cackle, which knowing Marvel is probably like an Easter egg for people who like are in, in the know. Or for, like, when you rewatch the series to be like, ah, look, they planted that there. So, I don't know. I don't know what role Agnes has to play. I I feel like Agnes does ha have a bigger role than is shown at the moment. Like, I don't think she's just another person who's under Wanda's control. She, like, they, she has so many lines, like, from, like, an outside perspective of the show. She has so many lines and screen time. The, I feel like she just has to have a, a bigger role than she does. Yeah, I don't know. I love the actress for Agnes. She does it really well. Really good job. Um, I do like Evan Peters as Quicksilver for the role that they're doing here. I feel like Aaron Taylor Johnson wouldn't... Well, he probably would have done well, but I mean, like, it fits better for Evan Peters to take this kind of Quicksilver, where, like, it's played up and being, like, all playful and, like, literally like a kid. Um, we had again the illusion fail on Quicksilver this time to show him dead. We, I don't know why that happens every so often, whether like it just like, like Wanda gets distracted and so it breaks her, her own view of everything. Sword, <laughs> all of those agents just got sucked into the field. Uh, I feel for them, but it's the director's fault. Like, what was the plan? This is what I don't get. What was the plan? Was it just to see what would happen to Vision when he leaves? Or their, their intention couldn't have literally been to kill Vision again. I don't know. I feel like they wanted Vision out. I feel like they wanted his body again. Because I'm still convinced that they were doing tests on his body to make some kind of weapon or some kind of tech. Because... There's no other reason to take his body apart. You know what I mean? For someone who literally said that they don't be used for weapons research or anything. There's no... No, I don't fucking believe it. He's shown that he's a complete dickhead. I am sad that Darcy got thrown into the field. Because I love her character. Um, I hope that she still has a bigger role to play in everything. Like, just... I, I love her. I love, I love the character. So yeah, the, the hexagon... The hexagon as well. Why? Why hexagon? It's obviously going to have some kind of reason. I can't think of any like witchy reasons. Because that would be like a pentagon. Pentagram. I, just, I can't think of anything hexagon related. You know? Six sides. Six infinity stones. Hmm. Interesting that the director has visuals of what's going on inside there because you need to have a signal going two ways and they've shown before that like everything else that they've tried hasn't worked so i don't know what kind of technology they're using to try and get that information but it's obviously advanced because it can't be from the era because it's able to detect vibranium which i don't think they they yeah they didn't know about in that time period unless you were from wakanda Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to be watching episode 7 in like half an hour, so I'm going to get all my questions answered, but... I wonder if we'll have another decade change next episode or whether it's going to stick here, because, like... I think this is the 2000s that they're basing this, so <laughs> where else can they go? Unless they're going to jump into like an early 2010s show. Yes. Well, with that said... You can find the full uncut reactions to WandaVision and all the other shows I do on YouTube on my Patreon. The uncut versions of the reactions will always be up before they are on YouTube because with WandaVision, all of my WandaVision reactions so far, even when I edit it down so much, are still getting blocked by Disney. And you can dispute it, but it doesn't unblock for two days and then they have 28 days more to say no and it gets blocked. But after those two days, you can put it up, which I've been doing. So that's one workaround. With that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.